And so in a nutshell, the definition of subluxation that we utilize in BGI incorporates that, that um, traditional model of bony misalignments and all that stuff, but then expands that. And essentially it says that ultimately if you break everything down, and this is going to be a whirlwind tour of this, ultimately if you break everything down, it is energy. Okay? The reason I'm structured the way that I am is because of the energy that I am. Okay? If you were to change my, and this is physics, if you were to change my vibration, you would change my physical expression on the planet. Every experience you have, if you break it down, whether it's physical, chemical, emotional, mental, or some combination, ultimately when it's broken down, it's broken down into energy that we perceive and process that information. What differentiates one experience from another is essentially the music with which it vibrates because it's the vibration of it that carries the information. Okay, this is all just kind of how things are. And so what my thought is is that, you know what, those experiences we have carry information. It's all an opportunity for us to learn, grow, and evolve. And essentially, if we integrate the experiences of life, that's exactly what happens. We learn, grow, and evolve. And if we don't, they end up stored in their physiology and create the subluxation. Okay? Um, they say that we live in a holographic universe. And what that means is that the information, the information, the infinite possibility of all there is to know that exists in the universe actually exists in every single atom. By the same token, our bodies are holographic in that the information to completely reproduce you anew, all the information necessary to produce all the, the chemicals, all the tissue types in your body exist in every single cell. Okay, your DNA, every single cell has the ability to produce every chemical or to be and differentiate into every type of cell in your body. What differentiates one type of cell from another is not the information that it possesses, but the information that has been activated and that it expresses. Okay, so my liver cells, that information to be liver cells has simply been activated, so that's what they express. Okay, by the same token, the world, the universe is holographic. And so really what differentiates me from this whiteboard is not the information we possess because we both, all the atoms in me and in this whiteboard possess the same information, we're holographic. What differentiates me from this whiteboard more is the information that has been activated and thus is, it is expressed. Does that, are you hanging with that so far? How that's expressed is through music, vibration, tone. So what if, what if every experience we have is an opportunity for us to activate more of that music? You know, if you have two guitars, if you sit them side by side, if you pluck the A string on one guitar, guess what? The A string on the other guitar is going to start to vibrate simply because it's in that musical field. Well, it's the same thing. If I have an experience and it has a particular frequency and tone, when that frequency and tone plays through my physiology, if I integrate it, and it's an experience that I haven't had, if it's a unique frequency and tone, then if I integrate it, that's going to activate a previously dormant piece of, of information, of music within me. As it's activated and expresses through my physiology, it's increased the complexity of my music. Because I am on this planet, a full expression of the music that I am, if you increase the complexity of my music, you've just increased the complexity of my expression on the planet, and I've taken a little step along the path of evolution. We cool? That's if it integrates. If it doesn't integrate, then what I feel happens is that it's stored in the physiology. That creates a dissonance to the music that we are. If you create a dissonance in music, guess what happens? My physiology is going to express that. It's going to create a dissonance in the structuring or in the geometry of my body, which means all the way down to a cellular level, my body's going to distort. On a gross level, bones are going to misalign. There's going to be tension on the soft tissue. And that classic subluxation, bone out of place, nerve system tension, is created. Well, in addition to that, because, because there's also this tonal component that we recognize, in addition to the distortion in the nerve system and in the physical geometry of my body, there's also going to be created an incoherence in the electromagnetic field and an incoordination of the neurochemistry of the body, interfering with every communication mechanism or pathway that we know of that the innate intelligence of the body utilizes to express as its intelligence. Okay? So that's the definition of, of subluxation that I play with. Cool?